everyone to this uh, evening's uh, presentation on private equity. This event aims to bring expert and practitioner views to the fore and to debate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead of us. The Institute's Corporate Finance Faculty has recently prepared a special feature on Cyprus and private sector investment in its Corporate Financier Monthly Magazine. I will, however, attempt to explain why, in my view, the private as well as the public sector and, their, and therefore the Cyprus economy as a whole are in need of private equity or private capital. Access to finance has been a strategic priority and objective for ICAW for several years now. I think the reasons are obvious. And over the next eight or nine minutes, I'd like to outline some key activities of ICAW's corporate finance faculty that I hope will demonstrate the Institute's commitment to this cause and hopefully provide some food for thought in the context here. I want to talk a little bit about uh, a market overview, what's happening in the industry, both in terms of what's happening globally and more specifically in terms of emerging markets. I'm then going to talk a little bit about how private equity create value and lastly give you some insights on my experiences of what PE are like to work with. The uh, MOU signed by the government obviously drives and defines uh, the Republic's main privatisation obligations. Uh, the financial targets are known. We need to raise 1 billion euros by the uh, mid-2016 and 400 million euros by 2018. Uh, the main entities to privatise and which will help us achieve these numbers are uh, CETA, the telecom utility, we all know, which we need to conclude the transaction by the end of 2015. The Electricity Authority of Cyprus, to conclude it by the end of 2017. There's a list of uh, land and real estate assets, approximate value of 500 million. This will be an ongoing set of transactions. There's the Port of Limassol, but that's under the responsibility of the Ministry of Communications and Public Works. And there's also the casino that's uh, handled by the Ministry of Energy and Commerce. Now, regarding some of the infrastructure projects we have in Cyprus that need funding, obviously we have um, the port infrastructure, which is connected with the privatization program as well as Costantinos, as I mentioned before. Uh, we have the privatization of the commercial activities at the EMA support. We also have the Landmega port, which might be another potential program if the consortium does not proceed as planned. And we might even have the need for building a, you know, a new port to facilitate the needs of the oil and gas industry. So there's significant need for infrastructure investment in Cyprus, and some of it is related to the new sectors that are involved, like the oil and gas that I mentioned before. The most important single thing Cyprus needs to do to attract private equity and uh, FDI, foreign direct investment, is to actively promote why Cyprus. To, be, to the international business, investment, and tourism communities. <laughs> KPMG, in collaboration with the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales, organized today a panel discussion on private equity. The role of private equity becomes even more important in Cyprus as a result of the financial crisis, the lack of liquidity in the banking sector, as well as our commitment to privatize state-owned organizations. The event hosted distinguished speakers like uh, the Minister of Communications and Works, Mr. Mario Dimitriadis, the Privatizations Commissioner, Mr. Costantinos Irodordou, Mr. James White, Head of Global Private Equity and Sovereign Wealth Funds Unit of KPMG in the UK, and Katerina Ioannou, Manager, Corporate Capital Policy of the Faculty of Corporate Finance of the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales. We also hosted an interview by Mr. Wilbert Ross, who, among other things, he explained why he invested in Bank of Cyprus and the Cyprus economy as a whole. 
The event was extremely successful in that participants got a very good view on what private equity can do for Cyprus. The panel was chaired by the Head of Advisory Services, Mr. Christos Vasili. I'm James White from KPMG London. We've had a fascinating meeting on private equity today here. I've started and summarised some of the global drivers to the industry and then we've had other members of the panel put that into context within the Cypriot environment and how private equity can possibly help the Cypriot recovery.